here's the most important thing about the future. It's incredibly fast. Look, if you think about what is happening, product life cycles are collapsing, knowledge is expanding at a furious rate, markets are happening faster than ever before, new products are coming to the market faster than ever before. That's why, you know, I talk about faster is the new fast. We are in this world in which the future is coming at us extremely fast. And as a small or medium-sized organization, you've got to be able to cope and adapt to that at the speed that the world demands of you. Here's another thing about the future, it has a huge instantaneity. Ideas travel and happen faster than ever before. You ever hear the sport called Zorbing? They're really bizarre. What people do, they have this large propylene ball, they put their handles on the, you know, on the inside, they've got stirrups for their feet. They go to the top of a large hill, somebody gives them a push and they go rolling head over heels down the hill. The thing is, this sport took off from nowhere to becoming a global trend just like that. Somebody invented the sport, came up with the idea, they put it on their blog, they put it on their website, they shared it with their friends, they went on a mailing list, and before you knew it, they were absorbing clubs around the world. That's an example of what's happening in our world today. Ideas travel and happen faster than ever before. That speeds up the intensity of business, and that's where you're going to discover opportunity. Now, the future is also happening faster because people are changing faster. Think about baby boomers. They go to change management workshops. You know, they struggle day to day with all the change going on in the economy and the world around them. Kids are different. You know, I call them Gen Connect. They just absorb change. They look at change and they just say, bring it on. You know, and as they come into the workforce, as they become a part of our daily lives, as they become part of the organizations that we work within, they look at change and they say, let's do it. We've got to change things. We've got to evolve. And that's why the future is going to happen faster. Here's another truth about the future. It's increasingly being defined by renegades. You know, I think what is happening out there is somebody within a big organization, they'll have an idea, they'll try and, you know, do something new and something different, and they're shot down. The innovation killers come, in, you know, come through and shut down their idea. What they do is they leave, they form a startup, and they decide, you know, if they can't redefine the industry by working within the industry, they're going to redefine it by working from outside the industry. They're renegades, they're rebels, and they're the folks who are having the biggest impact on every single industry. And if you look at what they're doing and how they do it, they do it extremely fast. That's why the future is coming at you faster than ever before. Here's another reason why the future is happening faster than ever before. Think about business intensity. Think about how quickly your industry is going to change. You know, in the video game industry, it's unreal. One company that I spoke to, a video game distributor, they indicated some 45 to 60 percent of the money ever made in a typical video game occurs in the first four to five days. That's a very intense business cycle. In the industries I deal with, I see the same type of intensity coming into every single industry. Business is happening faster than ever before because business is speeding up. And you have to ask yourself, what am I going to do about that? Can I operate at similar levels of intensity? The future is going to be very intense. That's one of the innovation issues that you need to focus upon. Here's another way you should be thinking about the future. It's happening and it's bigger than you think. You know, when you look at an industry, you've got to realize there's massive transformations underway. Take the auto industry. Think Google Car. I mean, you know, who's to say that Google might not become a car company? Think iPlane. Who's to say that Apple couldn't become a plane manufacturer? We are in the midst of a period of time of absolutely sweeping transformations of every single industry. And as a small or medium-sized industry, you've got to watch these big transformations because that's where you might find your opportunities in the future. Here's another very real truth about the future. The future will involve a lot of partnerships. A lot of organizations today, when they're thinking strategically, they're asking themselves the question, what can I do to run my business better? What I'm finding a lot of innovative organizations are doing is they're asking themselves a different question. What can I do to run my customer's business better? What can I do to run my supplier's business better? The future involves partnership, and if you get into that innovative frame of mind, you've got it nailed. involves a lot of innovation intensity. I find a lot of people, when they hear the word innovation, they think about the iPod. They think it's about bringing a new product to the market. But that's not what, re what is really going on. What's happening is people are discovering there's all kinds of new ways of running their business, growing their business, transforming their business. They keep trying out new ideas. They keep doing things differently. And that speeds the future up. 
Here's another reality about the future. It involves speed. The rate of change is accelerating. Business conditions are changing faster. You're seeing the faster emergence of new competitors, new business models, products getting to market faster than ever before. You know, what is happening is generally things are just speeding up. And you can do one of two things. You can sit back and recoil in horror. I can't keep up. I can't deal with this. But it's those organizations, the innovative ones, who look at speed and look at acceleration and say, I'm going to latch on to that. I'm going to figure out how to cope with speed. And I'm going to figure out how to turn that into opportunity. And last but not least, when it comes to the future trends and in innovation, here's what I've learned. Those who fear the future fail. You know, look at it. When it comes to change, there's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of scary stuff going on out there. The way I look at the future and the way innovators look at the future is they look at the future as an opportunity. They don't look at it as a risk. They look at the future and they try and consider what can I do differently to turn you know, potential negative challenges into tremendous opportunity. It's those who do change, who do turn the future into an opportunity, they're the ones who succeed. That's what you need to think about when it comes to the future innovation and trends. Thank you very much. I'm Jim Carroll.